what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? A black New York police officer made a TikTok video mocking overcautiously police tactics. He was posing like a woman sitting in, I believe, what was a squad car. And there's some giggles and hee hee ha ha's going on in the background who I'm assuming were fellow police officers. And they're just laughing up a storm. And he's talking about, yeah, you know, so you put your legs like this, you cross your legs. He, He's trying to talk like he has a some type of British accent or something. And he talks about how, you know, you want to face sideways. You don't want your gun uh, facing toward them. You don't want to scare the person. The funny thing about all of this, the joke is really on him because he could easily find himself on the other side of that joke. Easily. With one of his white counterparts catch him without that uniform on. In fact, he can have the uniform on. I've seen NYPD officers get shot in uniform, black, by white cops. So the joke is really on him. This fool made a TikTok video while on the job collecting our money. He made a TikTok video on our dime. Who else get to do that? Who, else, who, who get to go to work and be on the clock and TikTok, social media at the same time? Who gets, who gets to do that? This is why we want to defund the police. Because that dude obviously didn't have anything to do but just sit around and get paid. When he feels up to it, I guess he'll get out of his car and go harass somebody and create a crime. You know how it go. You don't see a crime being committed, create one. See, and that's the huge misconception about policing. Oftentimes people think because they're making these arrests, which are often petty crimes that they create, people think, oh, well, they got to be keeping the neighborhood safe because look at all the people they arrest. And they got to be doing a lot of crimes. Look how often they get arrested. And look how many of them are in court. They have to do something. I can't believe the police is just going around picking on the blacks for nothing. Picking on the Mexicans for nothing. Picking on the Puerto Ricans for nothing. They had to do something. Well, whether they did something or not, not my business. I'm safe. They're not bothering me. And that's all that matters. Isn't that how many of you think? This dude is going to get his end wake up call someday soon. Guaranteed. Doing all of that posturing, the way he was doing it, I thought he was about to come out the closet. He definitely got that girl in him. You know, I was watching him and I'm thinking to myself, he behaves like one of those dudes whose granddaddy was in the big house with Master telling on the runaway slaves. Master, I think they's gonna revolt. They's gonna try to run. You want me to shoot them? Nah, boy, I'll do it. You get on out there and breed your mammy so you can create a Sambo great-great-great-grandson someday that works for the NYPD. That's what I need you to do, boy. No, no, wait a minute. Before you do it, tell her to come in here. I got some business to take care of. Yes, sir, boss. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I don't know who you are. But whatever your name is, sucker, your mama should be embarrassed and your daddy should have pulled out. 
No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.